Australia will be looking for wickets up front with the new ball. Plays the call from the umpire, Brett Lee has the new ball. And the play miss. Good pace from Brett Lee, almost clocking 150 Ks. He will be the key with the new ball. Saurav Ganguly just a little rusty around his off-stump channel. Tony the skipper. And they're letting him know that. Is and taken by Adam Gilchrist. Terrific effort from Mitchell Johnson. Got the ball to swing away and uh, Ganguly was all at sea against Brickley. This time a faint edge and Australia are away. As long as that swing lasts for them. Edge and gone. Adam Gilchrist once again. In the business, Mitchell Johnson has picked up another wicket. Soft dismissal. Karthik feeling for the swing, feeling for the line has perished. Australia back in this game. Swinging the ball at pace. Oh! Almost picks up number three, the Yorker. It's always going to be a test for Yuvraj with that big back lift. He just got down in time. <laughs> it's the fast swinging Yorker when you haven't got your eye in. Beautifully bowled. Oh goodness, that would have taken the legs, middle stump out. Squared him up completely, but beautifully bowled. Bounce, good swing. And he's got him! Brett Lee played on. Interesting reaction there from Brett Lee. So, Tendulkar is on his way, played on through the gate. Brett Lee is just shaking his head. Should be jumping up for joy. This is a big, big one. It's a huge blow for India. Sachin Tendulkar plays on. Seam, just a hint of inside movement. Both the bales jumped up and one came back on. So, he didn't know initially. He thought he'd gone for, for a boundary. Wicket number three, Tendulkar gone for 21, is 38 for three. Robin Utaba comes to the crease, hard-hitting batsman. But he's coming in against the moving ball under pressure. And that's good, getting forward. So, wickets early for Australia. Edged and taken brilliantly by Adam Gilchrist. And Nathan Bracken, staying in the corridor of uncertainty, has picked up Yuvraj Singh. Raj just fiddling away outside the off-stump. He tried to discipline himself. He likes to play shots. He likes to feel the bat on the ball. They bowled well, the Australians. They're back in the game. 49 for four. Tony is the new man, and it's 49 for four. Very good through the offside. Indian captain, what's he going to do? Is he going to play his shots? Is he going to control his aggression? He's gone hard at that. That might rock it to the fence. It does. Boundary to end the over. It's 57 for four. That's a much better shot. More in control. Does it have enough to get to the fence? Much needed boundary to end the over. 62 for four in there. Tony has just arrived the crease. He's batting on four. And what a shot this is. Nicely balanced, presenting the full face of the bat. Oh, has he got his man? He has. Another one for Gilchrist. And that really is the signal for the crowd. It's really silenced the stadium, but a big wicket. And some just rewards for terrific bowling. 400 catch for Adam Gilchrist. The Australians know it's a massive wicket. So MS Dhoni goes for five, India in real trouble, 63 for five. Well, that uh, scoreline just underlines the fact why Australia are the world champions. Irfan Patan has come in. He's got to play near his best if he's got to extricate India out of this one. Confident young man, future of Indian cricket. So while he's there, there is a, a lot of hope. Patan, excellent opportunity for him as well. A Nick, carry, and he's on his way. James Hopes picks up his first wicket, and it's... Getting worse and worse for the Indians. Patan on his way. Well, uh, the new man in is Harbhajan Singh. Just the average of about 13. Two slips and a leg gully. Greeted with a bouncer. Two zeros and then really nobody stood there at all. That's up to Robin Uthapa to take them across. And he's got to play a miraculous innings, in fact. I think he doesn't have options. If there's a little room outside the off time, he's got to try and hit the ball. Well, that is some hit. That's really gone all the way. That's a huge hit. Harbhajan Singh really picked it off perfectly. That's brought the crowd alive. I beg your pardon, it's Utaba. Oh, this one come out of the blue. Utaba just showing his power again. He doesn't take that big a back lift. Hits through the line, rolls his wrist on impact, and that's gone miles. I think it was dropped by a fan in the crowd too. Maybe India are going to start going now. Well, there it is. The last time India won chasing against Australia was in 1998 now. Gosh, that's almost 10 years ago. And that was some chase done in style. Well, that's a good shot. There's no opening of the blade there. He's gone straight past Lee. That's authentic. And the Indian fans are loving this. Rear guard action here for Mutapa. He's a lovely striker of the ball. Got an excellent temper as well. Hit him straight. The fielders aren't there. Down the 
track again. He's taken the aerial route and it's gone the distance. He strikes them pretty well. It's 88 to 6. That is an awesome shot. Walking down the pitch, and I'm not sure that's exactly where he tried to hit it, but it was right out of the middle of the bat. Looked like he was trying to go over mid on and the ball was onto him a little bit quicker, but he spanked it over mid off. Great shot. Brett Lee misses the stumps and Adam Gilchrist couldn't get there. Chance of a run out, big mix up. And they got there in the end. Well, directed could have been tight. All confusion. Took his own sweet time. Look at Lee's commitment, Brett Lee. Absolutely brilliant. And a directed, he was a boner. A directed, Harbhajan Singh would have been out by a few inches. And no directed, Harbhajan is safe. It's the slow delivery, and it's been put away quite nicely by Harbhajan Singh. He'll be happy with that. Just fancy his uh, batting skills, Harbhajan Singh. It's about 35 36. That's played fine and played nicely. It's a boundary. And he's done something to his calf, my hamstring muscle there. James Hope is, is the man who gave it the chase, gave it 100%, but he may have some, done some damage. Yeah, he's clutching. Looks like a hamstring. He's playing uh, safe cricket. He knows that India can get there by just knocking the ball around, picking up those ones and twos, making room, and he uh, has put it away through point. Magnificent shot. Great piece of improvisation from Mutapa. Ricky Ponting, well, he's feeling the heat. Ah! They've gone for the appeal. Quicker one, Aleem Dar thinks that it's out. Mutapa can't believe it. Crowd is absolutely stunned by this tragedy. Strong appeal from Michael Clark. Aleem Dar upheld his request. And India lose an important player here. Gone for 47, 129 for 7. Zay Khan with measure steps has uh, finally entered the crease. Almost a philosophical walk. 81.6 is a strike rate, so he can strike it big. 34 not out his best. India can still win this. Oh. Has gone past Adam Gilchrist. Runs for India. Zaid Khan will come back for the second. Bit of width provided. Zaid Khan has played a nice looking cut shot. India were jolted early. Ganguly and Karthik uh, went for ducks. Thapa played well for his 47. Sachin Tendulkar looked good. Huntley was picked up by Brett Lee. But Ricky Ponting, pretty keen still to involve. Brett Hogg into the attack. It's a change ball. Hit. Goes for the drive. Zayn Khan has played a lovely cover drive. It's a four. Precious boundary for India. It's a powerful man, so we need to see it. Excellent shot there from Zahir Khan. Throwing it back on Brad Hogg, but he needs to get his length and his line right. Edge and taken by Ricky Ponting. Mitchell Johnson has once again picked up a crucial wicket. Harbhajan Singh falls. Ricky Ponting with a neat catch. Australia once again tilt the balance in their favour. So Mitchell Johnson once again getting the breakthrough for the Australians. Harbhajan Singh off for a gallant 19. India 143 for 8. And with the chief selectors, Philip Vengsarkar. Zahir Khan's parents. There's still something to smile about. Good shot. Very good strike. Brad had in the field and the deep. Just a single. So firmly struck. He just gets one. Oh! Again, it was the wrong one, but nicely played. Played it very late. And it gets to the fence this time around. Much to the delight of the crowd. And it's a lovely deft touch from Murli Karthik. Very good shot. Nasty played. Very, very late. You don't have to hit them all hard. Hogg's looking for an appeal. Johnson thought he had it, and then it bubbled a little bit on him. Taking out the, uh, well, Reliance. <laughs> that's the one that's just angling in and leaving the left-hander. I get a boundary. Much to the delight of everybody here, Murli Karthik. 167 for eight. It really is a cool game. Searching for the Yorker. And just angled away with the pace. That's a way to play it. Not a happy man. 
not happy at all. Over the top. Four. Beautifully played. He's bowled magnificently during this series, Brad Hogg. But this time he's not bowled as well as he could. And Ponting's not happy, nor is Lee. 23 required. This is well, really well struck. Good yorker. And nicely played in the end. A bit of aggression. We will have to accept that at this stage of the game. We're going to test the temperament of uh, both teams. This is Khan will have to hold his nerves. The heat at the moment. Few words will be exchanged. Oh, Zahir Khan was doing the talking. He must be confident that it's not a very fast track. <laughs> Nothing's going to go up his nose. Oh, what a reply! What a reply! Stunning shot from Zahir Khan. Has it done the trick to put pressure on Australia? Certainly the scales are tilting. What Australia have got to tell themselves that only takes two balls. What a shot this is. Almost like it's premeditated. The old 2020 getting in a bit of practice and he's whooped it away. Straight down the ground, the fastest bowler over his head. Thank you very much. Mental balance. Edged and it's gone for four. The gap, he's threaded the needle. Luck and momentum on India's side. Four more. Ricky Ponting was standing wide, almost slip and a half. Is that fate? Outside edge and goes exactly in between Gilchrist and Ponting. They're living dangerously, but four runs to India. They won't be complaining. Down the leg side. It's going fine. It's going to be four. They are within a stroke of victory, the Indians. Six needed to win. They can finish it with one ball. Zahir Khan has done it before. And beautifully played by Zahir Khan. Well, he's played it fine. He's going to get a single. They're going to take it. Karthik will retain strike. It's 189 for eight. Bracken's bowled out. Lee's bowled out. Off the toes. He's looking for two. Stuart Clark's a fielder. Settles on the single. Stop really thinking about it, that's for sure. Oh, that's on this pads. He's got an edge onto pad. He can come back for second. No, he settles for one. Discretion, the better part of Vela. Every run, extremely important. Three to win now. Can't take to play out the last ball of Johnson's over. match leg buys have settled the issue and aren't they happy they have achieved a famous victory which looked extremely unlikely at one stage when they were six down for 64 what a turnaround in this game they fought till the end and the low order has come good just when they needed to this is going to be a huge morale boost for india ending the series with a victory yeah the indian team are ecstatic hugging handshakes the victory wasn't looking possible Halfway through Indians run chase. But the lower order have chipped in very well and got India home. The Australians congratulating each other on a series. Still a 20-20 to go. Well, what a partnership. Unbroken. 52 of 62. What a game Karthik has had. Not out. 21 of 34. Match winning partnership with Zahir Khan to add to that. 6 for 27 of 10.